Hey family, just a quick word and reminder from the Lord. We're going to see a lot of things get exposed in the church. Just all over the place, you guys. We're going to see great exposure. Yes, this is the year of exposure. So when God allows the darkness to come up um, in people's lives, it's an opportunity for them to turn to God and to fully repent because God wants everybody to make it. He never desires for anybody to perish. So as people begin to get exposed, let's pray for them. Let's not celebrate anybody's downfall. Let's not point fingers because that could easily be us. We can easily fall back into a life of sin, okay? So we never want to celebrate in anybody's um, exposure. This is just an opportunity for them to really come to God because we are getting closer to the end and God is giving every single person opportunity to repent to turn to him and to be born again you know so he's gonna allow the gospel to go out everybody's gonna have opportunity the four corners of the earth and then the end shall come and God never takes pleasure when he has to destroy somebody in their sins so we never ever ever want to celebrate when somebody is destroyed or being exposed we don't want to um, have joy in that, you know, because it breaks God's heart. You know, he never desires for anybody to perish. He didn't design us to perish. He designed us to live. And we have a God of life. So let's continue to uphold people in our prayers. Um, anybody that the Lord is bringing into your heart, pray for them. Stand in the gap for them. Because people don't even know what they're doing. They think they're doing a good thing. You know, the Bible says in the last days, they will call evil good and good evil People are blinded, and so um, we've been hearing about this last roll call. The Lord, the Lord spoke it to me in 2020, right, right directly after the shutdown. And all this, all these years later, I'm hearing more and more brothers and sisters getting the same word from the Lord. You know, um, like this is one last push, one last roll call before Jesus comes. You know, and I don't know how long this one last roll call is gonna be. And I'm not really super surprised because since I was a child, I shared this. I always had a sense that I will be a part of the last generation since I was a child. I used to hear that all the time in the spirit. And look now, it's all coming to pass. It's all coming to pass. We are living in some very dark times, but we're also living in some really exciting times because we're seeing more Bible prophecy unfold and we're seeing so many people getting set free. Um, yeah, there's been this mass exodus in the spirit, um, within the body of Christ, there's great division taking place and it's going to continue to take place. So let's pray for people, you know, even our worst enemy, even the most crooked politician, God wants these people to make it. So whoever God is leading you to pray for, pray for them, you know, because man, I just, I just wish people would just turn around and just get to know God. So if we feel that way as born again believers, how do you think God feels? Because God cares for them the most. God loves them more than any of us could ever love them, okay? So praise God, I just felt like to share this. We need to be reminded of this. So never celebrate when somebody is being exposed or if somebody, um, God allows somebody to just go through whatever, you know? So let's just pray for them. Love you all, bye.